OK, so Unai Emery talks about having quality on the bench. Don't you want that quality in your starting lineup today? Well, of course you do. You know, it's, um, we're scratching our head at Aubameyang. Is, um, I mean, look, he scored 29 goals in 50 games. That's more than Henri could manage. That's how good this player is. Would you have North London derby? No, you wouldn't. Torreira, in this corresponding fixture at the Emirates early in the season, was magnificent in that midfield. He's made some changes, but what you could say, on a positive note, you're saying, well, look, I trust in the group. I believe in all my players. And then from home, Arsenal have lost four of the last six matches. So he's still striving, looking for that right formula. But for me, there's too many personnel changes. It's a different system. And there's a lot for the players to get their heads around uh, in a North London derby. I don't see how taking out your top scorer helps you find the right formula to, to win a game of football, unless I'm missing something. I think Torreira being on the bench, uh, the most influential midfielder, most dynamic midfielder they've had this season. Um, a fan favourite now, and your top goal scorer being on the bench as well. I think more than anything, that absolutely in invigorates this team in the opposite uh, change room. Spurs, the yeah. Spurs change room. We'll see that team sheet come out. Listen, you guys know how important. When you see a team sheet come out, you all sit there, get get round the manager. Who's in? Who's in? Who's not in? Aubameyang's on the bench. Torreira's on. Oh my! You you're sitting there now, going, you know what? I'm, this is us. No better time now than to play this team. Arguably, if he was going to pick one, two, three, four, five, six players in the starting eleven, you wouldn't be able to pick six better than the bench, I don't think, right today. The better players are on the bench for me. Yeah, just to kind of add something else to the argument from Emery's point of view, if, for example, this game went into the 60th, 75th minute and it was nil-nil, that is, you know, he got some nice riches to choose from to, to make something happen within this game. He's got options to move things around there. Granted, JJ, he's got he, hope and pray he gets to that point. 100, but listen, Martin said, I don't, you know, about Henri being on the bench in North London Derby. I actually remember a game that Henri was on the bench in North London Derby, and he came on and scored the equaliser. He probably told the manager he weren't ready to play, though. <laughs> he, there's no way he's not playing him off, off his own back. You know what I mean? I, listen, I agree with you. I'm just adding something different from Unai Emery's mm. point of view, tactically, what may be going through his head. He's obviously come here thinking, defensively, we need to be much stronger than maybe we have been. Away grounds yeah. within the top six. I mean, I agree. keep it strong, and then maybe later on I can open up a little bit. I just I agree. one of the. I mean, this is detail, but one of the things. Three in midweek. Today he plays in a four. Now at times I don't, he gets the jobs wrong. He gets it mixed up. There are different roles and responsibility in that position. Now he can't get him there. He wants to play and everywhere he's gone this week. He's bumped into Arsenal fans saying, "You've got to score for us yeah. this week. You've got to win this one." And he finds himself Listen, sat on the bench. Mark, you don't have haircuts like that and wear extravagant clothes like that without having an ego, mm. yeah? This guy ain't going to be wanting to go out into the streets after this game, win, lose or draw, unless he comes on and has an impact, right. obviously. But top players want to start. He didn't sign it to be a sub, a bit part, an impact player. Also, That's not in his DNA. Also, Rio, you know, th this is a man that has, has come to Wembley with Borussia Dortmund Smashed and, te and terrorised you know, yeah. this Tottenham back three or back four. They'll be delighted. He's it's a start. really interesting shot, that, actually, isn't it? That's two big money, big name players brought to Arsenal to impact this football team. It's the North London derby. They're in brilliant form. They can go a point behind Spurs and both of them are not starting the game. Well, I can. I mean, Ozil has hardly played, hasn't he? At, you know, away from home, certainly. I think is it just a couple of games he's played in the last nine away games. So I, I get that. I understand that. But Aubameyang must be wondering, you know, what has he got to do really to start these really important games for Arsenal? He doesn't want to get in the middle, does he? How does it feel when you're when you've been a first teamer and suddenly you're in that little group there, knocking the ball around as one of the subs? Yeah, your pride's taken a beating. Listen, for the squad, you've got to go out there, roll your sleeves up, and, and deal with it. But. Listen, goal scorers are a different breed, man. They're, they're built differently. They're, they come out and want that responsibility. He's had that responsibility all of his career. And he's, a, he's an absolute danger, man. I, I, I think Unai Emery has is, is risked it in a, in a way in terms of, like, we want to get into this game and be solid and get to a point where my subs can have an impact on this game and win it for us. But you've got to get there. I just think he's really played into Spurs' hands, who were lacking confidence, who lost, got, got beat midweek. This is the time to go for the jugular.